What's up, my little rabbit? Salut, mes petits lapins. So this is a reading <clears throat> for the second new moon of the year of the metal rat. It's just started to uh, rain rather heavily. So let's see what's going on for your sign. Here comes the bowl. There's a kind of <clears throat> staying power, a sort of growing, no, not growing, a sense of place, a real sense of place, knowing rabbits. So <clears throat> this moon, the energies that are coming in that will remain available to you for when you're ready, is very watery, emotional, hence the rain coming down. So, what do we have for mes petits lapins? My little rabbits. What are the energies coming towards? Oh, did you see that lovely spinner? I'm going to pull that one out because it excites me. Right, um... You're in a spin, <laughs> little rabbits. What's going on? So let's see what you've got. You've got gorgeous energies. So, you're starting with Phoenix and Swan. This was the lovely spinner. And this Swan is about a transformation within you that's clearing up issues within you. That's what this staying power energy was. You know, you're, there was a continuous flow and that's what I'm kind of getting from these cards it's a transformation Phoenix is always about transformations but this swan card is about becoming clear becoming balanced becoming standing in your own truth and you've also got wolf she-wolf is about leadership. It's about being a kind of pack leader, uh, looking after other people around you and gathering uh, people. And then you've got the beautiful, gorgeous card of the dolphin. Now, dolphin is playful light worker energy. So with your four cards, you've got spirit coming in to transform you. The water of clearing away the emotions. This moon's going to be very cleansing for you, rabbits. Then you're earthing yourself with your new emotional frequencies. And then the bloom of your light worker energy taking you into a role of leadership, uh, guidance, like a spiritual teacher. So, what else can you tell us about Phoenix? So, Phoenix is about untangling your heart. There are still threads deep inside your heart. I mean, Phoenix is about root chakra. 
and the transformation of the sacral and coming out through the solar plexus. But this is about pains in your heart that you're allowing to bleed into your sacral. So they're like the last vestiges, the last few threads of seeds planted by others that give you self-doubt. And that's what's keeping the fog or the algae sitting so that you can't see the beautiful reflection as you as a light worker leader role. <clears throat> And it's a very, this transformation is very gentle. It's not anything traumatic because you've got Daughter of Swords. So this is about the simple cutting away of energies that no longer serve you and removing them. I'm kind of hearing that, okay, so, these seeds of doubt that have been planted in you are to do with when you share your dreams, your this. When you say to somebody, yeah, I'm going to be this spiritual guide, this light worker, it's the doubts that people around you have. Part of the solution is not to share information, but to just be the information wherever possible. Um, but it's also about knowing who are the people around you that deserve to take on board the energy as a light worker that you'll be using. Because look, you're ten of cups territory, but this is emotional total satisfaction it's unweaving these last few strands that you've got left my little rabbits and you're wiring everything inside you back up to be in the flow flowing okay so let's have a little look at what's their smoky mirror What's their smoky mirror? We've got a lot of cards here, smoky mirror. Oh, you have got a lot of cards. Begins with endings. End, end the inability to see the beauty in your sacral. The beauty in you that wires in. Look, 1010, I'm saying check it out. Check it out now. So, uh, seeds have been planted. Good seeds, though. This is when you <clears throat> untangle these last few strands, let go of them by cutting away Daughter of Swords energy to begin this wiring in. The reason it wires in, the reason why you're able to clear your smoky mirror and move forward is because this is the beautiful alignment of not just the cosmos moving around and bringing energies into you, but it's also the truth inside you is also neatly lined up and ready to bloom. You're in a really, really lovely place, my little rabbits. So your sacral, and I'm seeing this, strong independent energy as you getting ready to kind of you kind of cash in on your true worth on the magic within you that's what this nine of pentacles is talking about um and i've got three cards left the one that's causing me a slight is the devil card because it's not at all it's not saying vortex energy there's something really strong 
Oh, okay. It's to do with this. It's the Capricorn earthing energy of this card. This is, I'm kind of getting a sense that your light worker energy that's coming into you, you're clearing your smoky mirror, is to do with bringing your Gaia divine feminine energy right the way down into your sacral to start that cashing in process. But actually you're going to pull your divine feminine into the earth grid sort of, I want to say quicker than everybody else you show off but it's because you have the strength of love the balance the divine masculine energy of this card holding the divine feminine so gently as the rose in the mouth uh, carrying the divine feminine down is what I'm hearing your, when you rewire your emotions, this is absolutely beautiful energy. And it's like ahead of everybody else, you're going to, even though the earth grid's not fully divine at the moment, it's like the trace elements of divine that have always been in there that have been kind of squashed down by the raw masculine that are opening up now that the emotional masculine is coming through it's like you've got an ability to access it quicker than everybody so clever you little rabbits so this wolf and dolphin where you're heading what's it all about come on wolf and dolphin are you just i your emotions are just so beautiful. Wow, rabbits. <clears throat> wow, 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 rabbits. This is, this is the key moon energy coming in now. This Piscean energy is coming into the rabbits to present you with, again, the victory of your transformation. That phoenix energy transforming you into a beautiful light worker butterfly dolphin thing. Now we have we have this wonderful double energy of two warriors, a warrior within the world for the world. This wonderful, slow-moving, very humble, knowledgeable energy with this warrior of the heart towards the healing of you and the earth. It's almost like it should be this way, this movement together. And then you have... Queen of Swords. So this daughter of swords that you started with, this gentle, sparkling, cosmic energy that's coming down will strengthen within you. This will give you the ability to sit and know, okay, and to, to understand the bad thought patterns that people have. The bad thought patterns, there's ringing in the ear. This is your key, absolutely now. So your ability to see in others the bad thought patterns because your emotional language is just becoming so incredibly zen. It's like you're going to become the sculptor of emotions. This, it's like you can x-ray someone, uh, scan them and understand all the emotional language uh, that's locked within them and you will help people to identify bad patterns and I want to say slice them away. It's their work to slice them away but your healing process will help them to find the strength to do this. You're going to plug in very early to the world, to this new earth energy, rabbits. 
Because after all, look, you're rabbits. You live inside the earth. You know, your connection with your burrows is incredible. So we're just getting a few animal spirit messages just to end your thing, your reading thing. So you have... Tend to the small things, um, which is mouse spirit, Robert. It's these little threads that you're untangling in your very gentle transformation are small. They really are small. They're not these huge traumatic things that you would imagine. They're really quite gentle. I mean, a really, there really is a sense of the gentleness of this transformation and then the warmth of the emotional language that comes online. Um, believe in yourself, squirrel spirit and lizard spirit, 57 and 38. Believe in yourself and dream the world into being. Because you're going to be the first to glimpse this world, this earth energy that you're going to connect with you're being asked to to sort of be a trailblazer the way shower for others and it says badger spirit number four that's a very healing number be fearless and bold find this balance this yin and yang black and white energy this clearance of your smoky mirror that's coming is an absolutely it's such lovely lovely energy the little light worker rabbits how gorgeous so mes petits lapins have a beautiful new moon feel the gentleness connect with water connect with those last few emotions that have just been blocking your sacral and then pull your divine feminine all the way down into the earth and swim like the light worker that you are. So beautiful, rabbits. What's sale?